Hello everybody, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum, Episode 6. I'm joined, still, by Gold Colony. Yo! Yo! Um... So we're gonna start with Mako, and work our way up to May, and then we'll take on Weevil. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I need to level up the Petit Moth, because the Petit Moth is one of those evolution creatures, and it only evolves when it's on a grass tile that buffs it by a percentage. And that whole map, at a certain point, becomes like Superbug Central, so I'd be able to evolve it. And that's when I would want to do it. Also, one of my tactics from long ago. Of the ocean. I don't think you're taking our duel seriously, Mako. On the contrary, I am taking it extremely seriously. Oh damn. I'm just confirming that your forces will not stand a chance against the power of the crashing waves and the thunderous seas. Huh. I'll prove that I'm not afraid of creatures that lurk beneath the surface. Then that's a mistake. Father, wherever you are, watch me attain victory by conquering Yugi with my aquatic army. It's time to duel you. Hey, now we don't get demonetized for it. Yugi didn't say it. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> That's pretty good. Eat shit. And we need yeah. to go first because we're about to fuck up a man's hopes and dreams in one easy go. <laughs> and it's that first unit that he placed. The one that lurks in the furthest back corner of the ocean. <laughs> that doesn't get summoned right away. But I have just mm. enough time to get to it. So remember a while back I said that there was going to be maybe a mission or two where I just bum rush something? So, this is going to be one of those missions. This is going to be one of those. Because he's got a trike, or a torike, which is super nice. Those are decent units. I'm actually going to take that one. He's got a root water. He's got a kappa. Kappa kappa. He's got happy lover. And he's got the fiend kraken. And that fiend kraken ain't something to fuck with either. <laughs> release the kraken! Yeah, no, we don't want him to release the kraken. Alright? <laughs> We need something that travels far, travels fast. Um, there's a button that I should be able to push. That gives me... Uh, okay, disadvantage wind. I kind of figured that was going to be the case. Um, so we'll take you. Uh, a baby dragon? The baby dragon. Take you, and then, I don't think he has anything that can stop that, and I'm thinking we just take, I think, I think, I need to level up the time wizard as well, I would love to level up both of them, but I might only be able to get one. I mean, the Kribos are better late game, but I kind of need this to be leveled up now. And the more I use means the more I can kind of defend. So, uh, we don't need our symbol for this one. Just so long as we actually take out that fucking unit, we'll be fine. So this moves in three and attacks in an X. So this has to be the one that's aligned. Like, just dead-ass aligned. So we're basically uh, sacrificing it for the sake of being able to get ahead here. And if Baby Dragon is unable to perform its task, like if it cannot complete its mission, we are fucked. Well. Kappa Kappa. Will there be a tear in your eye if Baby Dragon can't do his mission? If Baby Dragon can't perform its mission, it's definitely going to be heart heartbreaking. <clears throat> uh, no. 
So we're going to take this petted moth and move it here. And the only reason we're doing that is because they're going to actually go that way. They're going to go have a 2v1 with a fucking Triceratops. <laughs> The, the the slug versus the rhino. It's time to stop. First things first, the most important summon. <laughs> that is the most important summon because we need to beeline that bitch. All right, and then we'll get his back up. We we got the bird brigade coming in. <laughs> We're gonna try to keep the baby dragon alive. I don't know how well it's going to work, but like I said, we're going to try. What's our max HP, or AP, 450? Alright, so we do max out. And we'll be pretty damn good with this, nonetheless. Years of hard labor on the unpredictable seas taught me to be ready for any circumstance. Yeah, well, I don't think you were ready for these circumstances. This is the one where you don't get to play the video game, and I beat your ass without your fucking best monster. What if you release his best monster from the get-go? He wouldn't. It's not how the AI works. I have until that boat comes up in the middle of the in, in the middle of the stats. In the middle of the ocean, there will be a fucking um, there will be a boat that comes up. That's when. That's when shit goes down. Because Earth Monsters also get a buff out of that, too. Alright, that brigade's going. Uh, the fucking... Our, our petty boys over here are gonna fucking group up with our... Uh, Karibo. And then that should complete our turn with more than enough points, which is amazing. This is just not where I'm going to be too happy. Because <laughs> the, the longer this takes within the next two turns, the worse it, fe the worse it feels for me. It's only getting worse from here. Is that supposed to get better? Not until, it, not until it's destroyed. <laughs> Destroy it! No. Well, we can't kill the happy lover, but... Damaging that shell actually gives us a little bit of XP. Hmm. So, my that'll be a thing. Um, okay, I don't do fuck all to you. And I don't do too much more to you, but... That's progress. And I like progress. Taking out a really cunty unit is very nice for me. That's not bad. Let's get you going over here. Eventually we'll just make a beeline in ground, but for now I want to keep everybody in this middle. You're dueling better than I thought possible. Thank you. This is becoming exciting. Good. I should have one more turn after this. Which is all I need, hopefully. Because I have two attacks I could do on that shell. One with Time time Wizard, and the other one with Baby Dragon. Wow, 55 at a disadvantage. That's actually kind of cool. That he's actually doing a decent amount of damage. Alright, this is the turn I gotta do it. <laughs> Fucking get this shit over with. We KO it. We take those. Huh? It's what teach you to leave a shell around. Huh. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, well, it should. And you'll find out why now. Let me just make sure I have my game plan. I got a game plan. You ready for this, Junior? About to lose two more units this turn.
No. Yeah, I mean, he lost one more. But that one's pretty much as good as gone next turn anyway. Impossible. It doesn't phase me, huh? <laughs> but if he would have released the Kraken, you would have been in trouble. Yeah, but that's not until the boat comes up. But now that the boat ain't there, we win. Damn. You were hoping for more damage? I was just hoping to be able to two-shot it, but it has more HP, and I think that's only a level two Karibo anyway. Usually I have the Karibo as, like, level three or four. Oh. I might lose the baby dragon. Because I think that Kappa moves in an every other space around it and attacks in a one by one. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> damn, son. I was expecting to lose the baby dragon, damn. I mean, we still do, but... Unless I fully evac him... This is where the so boat comes up. This is where shit would have went down with that fucking Kraken, too. How much attack does that Kraken have? Well, when we collect it, I'll show you. It's pretty strong when the bots use them. Like, just because they know how to move them and they can predict shit and blah blah blah. Like, the bots aren't anything to faff with here. See, now there's a lot of, like, ground element. Um. I don't think we KO them. We literally only take out two of them. But it doesn't really matter where I move it. Well, actually, I would sacrifice my droll bird, though. I would literally be just sacrificing my droll bird. Also, the pet boss didn't even get to do anything in this game. I'm just going to take the obvious. Okay. I don't know how we were able to do more damage than we did. Oh, it's because the terrain changed, didn't it? Yep. I mean, you would have thought that he got a buff and I got a buff. It would have neutraled out, but apparently we got a better buff. Sweet shit. All right, we take those. Anyway, so if we move this one here and attack, it doesn't KO. But if we... Like, this is the only move this one can make, right? Oh, wait. I know what I can do. I know. We could take one out, and sa and we'll still be sacrificing... Actually, we, we don't lose anything. I thought of it. We take out this happy lover, specifically. And the reason that's important is because now we just move Baby Dragon right in between them. So now, this Happy Lover either has to move forward to start an attack, or just move over and attack this one. No matter what happens, it only takes two attacks to kill. We've won. We don't lose anything. Sweet shit. Alright. Now that's how you game. We're gaming, boys. Yummy, yummy. Pendant Moths didn't do fuck all, but you know what? That's alright. Because they still get passive XP for just existing. I do want to KO this thing with the, uh... Whatchamacallit? With the Time Wizard. Because I want it to get as much XP out of this fight as possible. And it should do if 40 I take damage. Another attack like that, the end will be near. The end is upon you, bitch. <laughs> Time wizard. This will finish you, bitch. <laughs> Gotta finish you with bitch. Add a little salt to the wounds or something. <laughs> wow. Shazam. No! What an embarrassing loss! I know! <laughs> what a chump! We're gonna have to start calling you shrimpy. <laughs> 
victory player! Woo! <laughs> Excellent duel, Yugi. I lost. Dash rat. You were quite the expert yourself. Yeah, you did a real good job in showing up fucking Grandpa Mudo in ways to get fucked over. <laughs> We did but it. You boys. cheese it. You knew what his, his his end game was from the get go. I mean, it's it's a strategy, all right. <laughs> Knowledge is power, and gaming is just half the work. Get fucked, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you didn't know about Ooh, it, soothing wood ability. Sweet shit. Our health, defense, and eight bonus AP go up. I just. Oh, defense and all stats go up on droll birds. That's nice. Baby dragons level three. I think it's uh, baby dragon level five, time wizard level three, or baby dragon level three, time wizard level five. All I know is I'm going to keep leveling both of them up to five just to make sure. And now we get his this, which is capacity. So it gives 45. It costs 122. It has 227. Um, where does it show its attack? Yeah, 119. So it could two-shot shit. And it's got moderate defense. Um, it literally moves and attacks in an X, so it's kind of hard to use, but... I mean, we'll take it, just because it's a good card. And Fiend Kraken is one of those special cards that you can only get from, um, an enemy. Of a specific type. Like, you can only get, like, actually our next match. Um, but I will end the episode here and check out the shop before I start the next episode. But I'll explain this. Like, Fiend Kraken you can only get from Mako. Kind of like how the next fight that we have, you can only get that creature from this one as well. But for now, I am Hereticos, everybody. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future uploads. I was joined by Uriah of Gold Colony, and we will see <laughs> you next time. Peace! Later.